So in my last video on Google Finance, I got this question here. Uh, can you show how to create a chart of how your portfolio grows over time? Uh, I thought about this a little bit and I came up with something that we can use. Uh, this is the same Google Finance spreadsheet that I used to show how you can recreate Google Finance in uh, Google Sheets. So uh, you can still download this uh, and make a copy for yourself on your drive. What I did here was add a new column called overall return dollar amount. Essentially, it's the same one that was there before for the percentage, just taking off the last half of that equation. So then you get the dollar amount for your overall return. And what it is, again, is the market value plus anything you uh, sold minus anything you bought or in and out, which is coming from the summary transaction sheet here. So with this column, you can then uh, just sum this up and you get uh, your overall return, your growth, basically, or not your growth yet, but your overall return. To see the growth, you'd have to do this every day. So I created this over portfolio trend sheet. And to, in order to do it, I would have to do the date and then that uh, that total that I have here. So it's uh, 23, 43, 54, uh, 23, 43, 54, 55. And the way I have the chart is to set it up. Uh, the way you enter in a chart is just, you just highlight uh, the columns you want, then go to insert, then chart. And right now it's giving me a column chart. If I go over here, it's for this chart editor, and then I can select line chart, and then I can change some of the values here. If I want the legend down below, I can change it to the bottom. If I want this to be starting from a zero, I can put zero. So it's not skewed. Um, yeah, so that's just some options to do. The formatting here is pretty intuitive. Let me just delete this. So you can see if I were to do this again, uh, in order to get a trend line, I'd have to enter another date and another value, another date, and another value. The way I got around this was using something similar to a macro in Google Sheets. It's um, using this script tool. So if I go to tools and then go to script editor, Google has the option to input JavaScript into kind of like a macro for uh, Google Sheets. So what this uh, function does here, it's an event function, and it says that each time the spreadsheet is opened or refreshed, it appends a new entry on the portfolio trend sheet uh, for the sum of the overall return column uh, from the performance sheet. So that's what it does. Uh, you can see here that this this is the function, and it goes through some of the explanations here. This function is uh, in a trigger function, so this is one that's kind of like standard. I didn't have to write like my function. Uh, it needs to be this name, uh, so you don't change that name if you're editing this uh, script. Uh, I assign this variable here. This is the Google Sheets that you're working with. Uh, this is the tab that you're essentially working with, and then the name, so it gets it as an object. Then from that sheet, it defines the range. So it looks in column 12. This is where the overall return column is. It starts from row three and gets the last row for that. So that, that way you have your range and then your range object. So from that object, you then get an array of values. And then I set a total, it's like a placeholder. And then I loop through my values in order to convert them to uh, a number and then add them to the uh, placeholder total and then just add the date so I can put it in the uh, portfolio sheets with the date and the total. Uh, you could probably change this around. Um, JavaScript isn't my first programming language so you know this might be able to done in a lot fewer lines. Uh, this is the way I know how to do it uh, from the examples that I found on uh, the Google's website for this. So like I was saying if I go back to the sheet here if I get rid of this, and then I, if I just refresh with that function active or the script active, you can see that it just sort of just populates this and then updates the chart as well. So the chart has, is referencing those two columns. So there I did nothing um, other than just refresh it. So that's like simulating an opened uh, sheet. If I go, and you can see that it plot the value there. If I go to the transactions and say, change something here, say I sold this for 500, and say uh, sold this for another like 500 and whatnot. Let's say I sold it for 500 too. 
And if I go here, right, I can see, uh, let's scroll over, see that now the value is going to be different, 50 something and 253. If I refresh again, instead of entering that value manually, it will populate it for me. It just takes some time. Yeah, you can see that, and then you get your trend line as it, as it goes along. Um, and like I said, you could close this out and then open it up, and you'd still get the same result. It'll uh, do the same thing. So let me just do that so you can see. Um, let me just close this out. All right. If I just open it, new one, and if I go to this sheet, you can see that it added a third value. So this is something new. So that's pretty much it, using a script to give you um, basically your portfolio return value in a new tab automatically so it can then chart your progress over time. Uh, and again, if you wanted to do the script, edit the script or view it, you could do a script editor their tools and you know change what you need to change. Uh, one thing that might come up is that if you're running this for the first time, it Google might give you a warning. Um, you can just click allow and it will allow you to do uh, run this script. Uh, I already did that process. Um, and if you don't see the allow button, if you scroll further down, it would probably say advanced. And then when you click on advanced, it will then give you like your email and then uh, the, you know, the user to allow it. And then the allow button will be there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can look at this code. There's nothing here like, uh, you know, sharing your information or anything like that. It's really just opening the spreadsheet um, or using this open function every time it opens, you know, get the sheet and yada, yada, yada. So uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, if you have any additional questions, let me know. Um, I really enjoyed that question. It was fun creating this and going through the script, uh, you know, and learning that process. So if you guys have any more uh, suggestions like that, uh, that'd be great. Or if you want me to see me do other things with, or more things with Google Sheets in, in a finance capacity, or just Google Sheets in general, or more Excel, or you know, Access or PowerPoint or whatever, uh, let me know, and we'll go from there. I really want to make this channel like more useful to you guys. So thanks.